All right, coming down. Dolly, please don't bark. <sighs> Dolly, you're just killing me, girl. A E I O U. Hung in the halls of UW Health's transplant hall. Something truly remarkable. Hung in the. Hung in UW Health's transplant hall. Something truly remarkable. Art coordinator Mandy Cron believes more than a dozen rare African American prints deserve a place on her hospital's walls. Art, coordinate, Art coordinator Mandy Cron believes more than a dozen rare African American prints deserve a place on her. Art coordinator. Art coordin Art coordinator coordinator it's a hard word. Art coordinator Mandy Cron believes more than a dozen rare African American prints deserve a place on her hospital's walls. Acclaimed Madison photographer Shia Fisher Acclaimed Madison photographer Shia Fisher sacrificed his own showing for a man with a larger than life mantra. Acclaimed, acclaimed Madison photographer Shia Fisher, acclaimed Madison photographer Shia Fisher sacrificed his own showing for a man with a larger than life mantra. Acclaimed Madison photographer Shia Fisher sacrificed his own showing for a man with a larger than life mantra. And you see Shia's father, the late Dr. Anthony Brown, always doing that. Muhammad Ali, MC Hammer. Muhammad Ali, MC Hammer. Well, regular, well regularly, the Madison community activist collected cultural art before his untimely death at 60 in 2010. Ooh. Well, regularly, the Madison community, well, regularly, the Madison community activist collected cultural art before his untimely death at 60 in 2010. Well, regularly, the Madison community activist collected cultural art before his untimely death at 60 in 2010. By, expo by exposing these African American artists, and educating so many. As this UW Health Transplant Hall, as this, as this UW Health Transplant Hall holds a special place in Shia's heart. As this UW Health Transplant Hall, as this UW Health Transplant Hall holds a special place in Shia's heart. Dr. Brown lived decade. Dr. Brown, you see, lived a decade later with two kidney transplants. Dr. Brown, you see, lived a decade later with two kidney transplants. Dr. Brown lived. Dr. Brown lived a decade later with two kidney transplants. For Spectrum News. For Spectrum News. I'm Katherine Larson. For Spectrum News, I'm Katherine Larson. For Spectrum News, I'm Katherine Larson. Dr. Brown lived Dr. Brown lived a decade later with two kidney transplants. Hung in UW Health's transplant hall. Something truly remarkable. Our coordinator Mandy Cron believes more than a dozen rare African American. Okay, we're good. 